How you doing, guys? We're back for another. Uh, this is volume two of my favorite troll comments. Now, the first video was fairly successful, I guess. Uh, good response so far. People seem to like it. Uh, I know Terry K is just from Beer Goggles Reviews. Uh, he's just crazy about it. Uh, he won't shut up about me making a new one. So this is partly to appease that man. Um, but for this one. And I should, I'll probably have this subtitled uh, as a, under the uh, main title of this, that this is the Budweiser edition. This is all from one video, from my Budweiser review that I did years and years ago. Now, I must preface this by saying that, in part, my Budweiser review was a bit of a troll video, really, because I was sort of looking to get negative responses. I, I thought it would be kind of fun. Because, you know, here I am reviewing Budweiser, so one of the blandest, shittiest beers out there. I might as well have some fun with it and just sort of spout off on people and see how many real negative comments I can get from people, right? Because on uh, on YouTube, it doesn't really matter um, if the comments are negative or not. It's still a view. It's still a hit on your video. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to read, and I got a bunch of comments here like I forgot how many great comments there were on this video and <laughs> going through them the other day brought up some uh, interesting memories I'm not gonna so much uh, I'm not going to uh, talk about my response like give you my responses that I gave a lot of these people I'm just mo mostly just gonna read the comments and let you guys laugh at them yourself and just imagine and uh, sort of ponder what must be going through some of these people's heads um, so we're going to start off here, uh, and these are in no order. I just sort of randomly went up and down to the list. There were so many comments. Uh, I was trying to put them in order of what might work better for the uh, video. And just a little warning, this might be a long one. This might be a very long video, so we'll see. So first, Slaughter, S-L-O-T-E-R-X-X, -X, says, Love the bud, stop winging. Can you brew better beer than them? I guess he meant whining. Can you brew better beer than them? I think I replied something like, "Yeah, I actually probably could, even with an ex even with a uh, extract uh, beer kit, I could do better than uh, than them." But uh, that's beside the point, really. Uh, that that goes back to one of those really stupid comebacks for. Um, for people who are critical of uh, of your criticisms, they're like, uh, they'll go to a movie reviewer and say, "What right do you have to review a movie? You can you make a movie? Can you do better? Can you make a better movie than these guys? You know, like it, it's it's totally stupid. Um, we have we have it within ourselves to criticize uh, something without having to actually be in that industry. It, it's just a bullshit thirteen year old fucking defense of something." <clears throat> Um, Super Evil Possum, P-O-S-M, <laughs> uh, he says, did you say you're in Canada? Ha 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 ha. That means you don't have a clue what you are talking about. Apparently we all say about, not about. Um, go drink a Molson A, and he's got a boot and A both in fucking, uh, quotations. Maybe you should stick to reviewing episodes of Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> that's that's like the one of two comments that I think reference Trailer Park Boys, the uh, TV show. Uh, I, I think they were just starting to get that up in uh, the U.S., so uh, it seemed timely and uh, impressive for them to uh, use this in an insult, apparently. Um, next one. Killing with a Smile 69. It's bland and watery, which is exactly why it's my favorite beer. I think beer tastes like shit, so the more watered down, the better. Well, man, there are so many great options out there for this guy. Uh, he must be having a fucking blast drinking that shit. Uh, I tell you, I wish there were more people like this out there that just, you know... Oh, wait, there are. There's just tons of people out there like this who don't actually like beer. Uh, it just goes back to one of the old points I... Uh, I bring up all the time that a lot of these people, they just, they don't like beer. They don't like the flavor of beer. They don't want beer. They just want alcoholic water. 
but they don't want something as strong as vodka that's going to wipe them out, I guess. Um, DWV 2009. You are reviewing Budweiser from... Here's another one of these uh, anti-Canada ones where, you know, we're in Canada, we can't possibly talk about Budweiser. Uh, you are reviewing Budweiser from Canada. It even says brewed in Canada on the can in bold and red paint, which is true. This was the Canadian version of uh, Budweiser, brewed by uh, uh, Labatt. Uh, but that's beside the point, because I've had the U.S. Budweiser, too, and they taste the fucking the same. I don't care what anyone says. Um, it even says brewed in Canada on the can in bold and red print. Canada blows. I work in the godforsaken... I work in the godforsaken... Land, the land without national identity. Oh, I guess he's talking about me. Uh, looks like a fucking deli train depot everywhere you look. Oh, nice racism. Awesome. Throw that in there to your comment too. Uh, ignorance and racism, both good ways to get my attention and make me take you seriously. Anyway, this isn't true, bud. This is a beer brewed by Labatt. It tastes just as shitty as any other Canadian shit beer. I'm a Budweiser man, and I assure you, this tastes awful and is an imposter. Fuck you, Canadian swine. Well, fuck you too, sir. Fuck you too. Just, uh... <laughs> it's one of those ones where you don't even really know where to start uh, in replying to this person because no matter what you say, they're not going to... It's not going to get through whatever scarring is on their brains blocking, you know, all intelligent uh, neurons from firing. Um... Next, EXW, 1984. Oh, and he's defending this fucker, because I replied to him. Um, in defense of DV, uh, DWV 2009, you are such a dick. You started on all this. The USA will always prevail against Canada, uh, except from the War of 1812. Um, be it beer or anything. Okay. Your angst towards the greatest, most powerful nation stems from more than an opinion of our beer. Oh, yeah, I'm very jealous of the USA. Uh, it's just, it's obvious in every waking moment of my life how jealous I am of uh, America. Um, you know, because I really give a fuck about nationalism and how good another country is compared to another. Uh, but it wasn't even our beer you formed an opinion of. So... Go fuck yourself. As for being racist, I don't think I don't get the impression that this is the case. D, and I, I called that D W V two thousand nine person a racist because of his uh, Delhi train depot uh, fucking uh, comment. D W V two thousand nine was simply stating that it looks like another land. Great. So why need to say fucking Delhi? And he was still using that other land in a negative uh, connotation as well. Uh, you should really try a real Budweiser, though. I have, thank you very much. And it's exactly the same as the other Budweiser, so fuck you. Uh, serious, serious business, and it's S E E R I O U S B I Z N E S S. Very, very clever. LOL, a Canadian doing a beer review. Hilarious, although I do agree it sucks. <laughs> So he agrees with me, but he still hates me because I'm Canadian. That's great. That's awesome. Our little beady eyes. Blame Canada, boys and girls. Blame Canada. Next up, Mr. Dane 100. I've been drinking this beer since 14. <laughs> it is still my favorite beer. It is a very high quality beer. Great taste. Great finish. That's why it's so popular. And no, it's not cheap. I haven't experienced every beer in the world, but have experienced many. And Bud is still one of my top three. Every drinker has a required taste. It's massively... I didn't quite get that. That's all one sentence, but I think there was like two sentences there. And he just didn't split them up. It's massively produced. Massively isn't a word. And sold there must be something good for it to be just about the most popular beer in America. Oh, I love that that argument. Oh, it's very it's it's very popular, so it must be good. You know. No. No. Uh it's very popular because idiots like it. And there's a lot of idiots out there. That's all there is to it, boys and girls. Uh not WL com. Yeah. Well, fuck you too, you fucking snob. 
And what exactly makes you any kind of beer connoisseur? I didn't say I was a beer connoisseur. I love how people also come to that conclusion that because I give a beer a bad rating or trash a beer um, online that it makes me some sort of upper class uh, connoisseur with my pinky, pinky finger out and wearing a nice smoking jacket and a, and a pipe while I'm drinking, uh, you know, more of a high class beer like Heineken or some shit. Um... If you don't like it, that's fine. But to say fuck you, bud drinkers, well, it just speaks highly of your upbringing and what kind of person your parents made of you. Have a nice day. <laughs> well, thank you. Have a nice day. I'm quite happy with the fact that my parents uh, let me be my own person and um, have for my own opinions and not be swayed by uh, popularity and uh, political correctness and... Uh, not being, uh, you know, afraid of offending somebody. I prefer to live that way. Thank you very much. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. No, this is zero. Okay, zero run KP zero S. Runk. Pfft, I don't know. Some of the some of these fucking handles. I just I don't know what fucking planet they come from, man. Uh, laughing my ass off. What should beer smell like? Like a fucking floral shop? All your craft, all you craft beer fanboys crack me up. Also, people judge beer based off popularity. Bud Light Bud is the top selling beer. Why? Drinkability! Bottom line is Bud is a good American lager. Not the best, but is there a best? Why review it if you hate it so bad? Well, I think I explained that at the beginning of the video. Plus, I review anything I get. But, you know, um... Like I said, I pretty much knew what I was getting into, and who the fuck doesn't know what Budweiser is like, really, anyway? So, so I thought, I thought I'd have some fun with the fucking video. Why not? Um, but yeah, another one of these um, fucking uh, Budweiser's popular, so it must be good kind of arguments, which is just stupid. Uh, CDKGB. Well, I guess I'm a pro too, because I enjoy the delicious flavor of a crisp, refreshing Budweiser now and then. Yeah, well, I guess you are. Uh, Julio Andrade, or maybe it's Andrade, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, Budweiser is my favorite beer. They don't call it the king of beers for nothing. <laughs> Oh, I love how many people just fall for the same marketing bullshit all the time. Um, oh, the guy who... A guy just died who invented, like, one of the slogans of uh, Budweiser. It wasn't the King of Beers slogan, I don't think. It was another one. Um, but, uh, burn in hell. Okay. Um, next up. Meat is delicious. D no, delicious... D the guy can't spell delicious. Delicios, I guess. Who give a crap if it's made from rice? I couldn't care lees if it was made from potatoes and wheat. It's the taste that counts. Rice beer. Mmm, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you love the rice beers. You should give some gluten beers a shot too, you know. Who cares if it's made from rice? Yeah, who gives a fuck if it's made from adjuncts that dull down the flavor and basically make it not beer anymore go ahead yeah, yeah, fill your boots man okay blue shit 102 great name the fuck man Budweiser is some damn good beer uh, well nothing more to say there next Marvin Marvin Hargett lol you're stupid Thank you very much. Uh, next, Quinn Kenyon. Quite frankly, you're fucking stupid. I think it's because I used to say quite frankly quite a lot in, in my early videos. So, quite frankly, you're fucking stupid. I, I actually I actually saved this one because this is like one of the only people who could form a full sentence and use the word uh, you are contracted together properly. Um so I give that person points at least for being able to uh, give me his opinion with some sort of uh, clarity. Uh, Baxter8881, 
Fuck all you hating cunts. Have a Budweiser. Actually brewed in America, eh? Trailer... Ah, another Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys would shit in you, Canada, for saying it's crap. And obviously this motherfucker hasn't watched Trailer Park Boys all that closely because if he had, he'd see that Ricky, Julian, uh, Bubbles, uh, Ricky's dad, they're more likely to be drinking a locally made beer here in Nova Scotia where Trailer Park Boys was filmed, Propeller. Now, they don't, of course, they don't have the exact Propeller logo right up front in your face, but you look at the side of the bottles or whatever that they have it turned, it's fucking Propeller. It's fucking Propeller, Extra Special Bitter, Propeller Pale Ale, whatever. Uh, they drink fucking Propeller, so fuck you. Right up your stupid goat ass. Okay, um, Drink Up 90. Damn Canadians, worse than the French. <laughs> uh, we actually have some French in Canada, uh, so I don't know. Which French are you talking about? Um, ACD Corona. Oh, this was a chick, I think. Shut the fuck up, Budweiser Taste Bomb here in Cali, 559. That's the best, not like your other light shit beers. It's a bomb smooth beer, and it gets you drunk faster, Fuck you, bitch, and them other nasty beers. Well, I guess you told me, you fucking un undereducated, stupid slag. Gah. Uh, next. Vapor Street. Or Vapor Street, I guess. Because they can't spell vapor properly. Dude, it's Bud. Stop bashing it. It's just a straight-up American beer. It's not meant to be hoppy. This caramel that, it's... Uh, it's not to be. It's not meant to be hoppy. This caramel, that guy. I hate when people can't use punctuation properly. It's beer, man. Get over it. Don't bash the beer of your country you live in. It's just beer. It's just beer, man. And I don't live in America. He thinks seems to think I do, but um, yeah, it's just fucking beer, man. It's, it's nothing. Don't take it seriously. You know, all beer tastes the same. It's you know, it's it's not meant to be hoppy and caramel this and caramel that and yeah, you're a fucking moron. Uh, keep living in ignorance, my friend. Uh, next, M. Gallagher, 1996. Don't review beer if you don't like beer. Well, yeah, that's a that's a motto I uh, I live by. Really, one of the mottos I live by. Uh, if I didn't like beer, I wouldn't review beer. And uh, I wouldn't review some things that are, you know, just barely beer, like Budweiser. Ah, uh, okay, next. Soldier K4. Oh, this is a good one. He says, I sell ingredients to Budweiser, and I sell them premium ingredients, so fuck you. Yeah, I bet he sells them the best fucking rice out there. The best high-quality six-row fucking uh, barley. You know, only the best cheapening fucking bland, homogenous fucking beer ingredients that they can find. Good stuff, Soldier K4. Good fucking stuff. You're doing your country proud. And finally, this is a this is a pretty, uh, we were almost going 20 minutes here this time around. This is a pretty funny one, I thought. Uh, and it's also kind of sad in a way. Uh, and makes me wonder if some people have any sense of awareness at all when they make a comment. Um, on YouTube, I guess that's a stupid question, really. But uh, this is from Gold Snake, and the old the O in Gold Snake is a zero instead of an O. Uh, he says, and I should have the sad, I should have the sad Hulk music from uh, the old uh, Incredible Hulk TV show going here. But uh, my dad was a bit of an alcoholic a while back. He used to drink only Alpine, and he loved it. Hence, he was drunk all the time. One of the steps we did to cut back his drinking was to get him cases of Budweiser. Suddenly, he didn't have as much interest in beer anymore, and he is in far better shape today because of this. For that reason, I'll always have a soft spot for Budweiser. Oh, well, man. Budweiser saved his family. Ah. Oh. I'm just going to totally turn my opinion on Budweiser around now, guys. I... I just, oh my god, oh my god, it's so beautiful, oh my fuck, that is so fucking ridiculous. If that's a true story, that is very, very sad, but in a totally different fucking way than what he uh, intended. Uh, Jesus. 
my dad used to get drunk off fucking uh, cast strength whiskey. But then we started giving him just 40% fucking whiskey. And now he doesn't drink as much and he's in much better shape than he was before. My dad used to take tons and tons of fucking arsenic in all of his food. Now he only takes half as much arsenic in his fucking food. Now he's so much better. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is great. This is great. So that was the Budweiser video. Those were the troll comments. Um, I don't know if I can top this one. I'm gonna. I am gonna try to do a couple more episodes of this, but I don't know if I can quite top the video, the comments in this one. It was more than special, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed s sitting here with me for 20 minutes, uh, listening to me recite the uh, stupidity of uh, the general YouTube populace, at least the troll populace of YouTube. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back. I don't know when the next one's going to come, uh, whenever I get the, uh, get around to it. I might, might come sooner than later, because I'm waiting for a couple beer mails to show up, and between then and now, I have nothing else to, uh, uh, really do. Uh, no real new beers to review or anything like that. So, um, yeah, it might be Volume 3 coming here very, very soon, guys. So, um, you guys be good. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all guys later.